Hi guys, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I know you've all seen this book before, but this is fairly new to me. So I am going to do a quick flip through of Sweet and Simple Women's Girls Mermaids and Watercolour by Hannah Lynn. I picked this one up um, as part of the Whimsical 2020 that uh, John Bibberfell Colorist is running. So I can do some more Hannah Lynn ones. Um, so let's have a quick look. So I do like the way that she put, puts all the pictures like this. And you can see... Um, the names. So for instance you've got Tagalongs, Katie and Cruncher, Oz Dorothy, Oz Scarecrow, Oz Wicked Witch and so on, Duckling Discovery. Um, so they've all got names and you can find them on these. So you can see every single one of them. So I like this one. It's just a face. It's awesome. If you just wanted a quick quick colour, there are some that you can just colour very quickly again. This one's a little mermaid. You can colour very very quickly. Well, you could take a long time with pencils. This one's a cute one with the little penguin babies. So these little girls, they are so cute. And like I said, because they're so full-faced, they don't take as long as, they, say, for instance, the fairy tales book or the Christmas book or steampunk darlings or Victorian darlings, which are more in-depth pictures. Beautiful and wonderful to colour. But if you didn't want to have all that in-depth stuff, you could just do one of these. And they are so cute. This one's nice with the horse. This one's got a bit more detail to it because you've got all the forest in the background. And you've got this one with a um, hugging a shark. I'd say shark, it might be a dolphin, but it looks like a shark with those teeth. This is a cute one. another one that wouldn't take you too long to do if you wanted to do it in markers and I do like doing the handlings with the markers this is so cute I'm gonna have to do this one I think I guess it's a kind of Halloween picture because she's holding a pumpkin um maybe we'll save that one for November I mean October end of October she's cute so this is Oz Dorothy and she's holding Toto and this is the Scarecrow. This is the Tin Woman or Tin Man. The Cowardly Lion. I love The Wizard of Oz, my favourite, favourite, favourite film. I love Judy Garland. Uh, this is The Good Witch, which in the film would be Glinda, the Witch of the North. This is The Bad Witch, The Wicked Witch of the West, and so on. And then we're on to these. This, I mean, again, their hair is so lovely and you can do it any colour you want. With a wolf. Oh, this is nice. I would love Hannah Lynn to do a complete Wizard of Oz book. That would be amazing. With different scenes from the story. Oh, she's so cute holding the little, little ducklings. Oh, this is a nice one. very nice one so these are just great to do they're flowing hair and things so these are like Alice by the look of it I guess the March hair and Mad Hatter I think I did that one I had a PDF of that Cheshire Cat. And again, look at this. It's so simple. It's just literally a face. A bit of sea in, in the background and the sky. I mean, it's so simple to do. And then you get this one, which has got a bit more detail in it and would take a bit longer, but it's just as stunning. And that is what makes Hannah Lynn so good. There's something for everyone in, of every level in her book. You've got the detailed ones, you've got the, the, the just the faces. It's It's fantastic. So a little seahorse. They are just lovely pictures. And this book, of course, is all singles, so there's no duplicates. But like I said, I've done one of them because I had it in a PDF. Hey, so cute. 
that is one with the roses. No, oh, the wolf. Vampire girl there. I mean, this is literally just a big face. I mean, how quick would that be to colour? You could either do it in markers or with pencils. Pencils would take longer, but still look great. And again, the same with this one. It's, it's a more simple picture if you didn't want to have too much complicating the page. That one here. So this is the big version. I know you can get this as pocket size, but I wanted the big one. You know, um, I'm not likely to take, um, I might take handling a book on holiday, but it's not likely to be one of these. I think this is mostly going to be for markers, but yeah, it's absolutely stunning. Love it. So that's that one from Hanlin. I'm looking forward to colouring in that one. Hope you've enjoyed this quick flip through. I'll be back with another one soon.